Lockhart family. We're so glad to be with you here tonight and praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
tonight. God, we thank you that you're dependable, that you're loyal, that you're consistent, that we can trust in you. Thank you for your love, Jesus.
till I'm found leaves at 99 I couldn't earn it I don't deserve it Still you give yourself away I couldn't earn it I don't deserve it Still you give yourself away I couldn't earn it I don't deserve it Still you give yourself Sing I couldn't earn it There was nothing I could do, nothing I could say. You just gave your love to me, Lord. Nothing I could do, nothing I could say. You gave your love to me, yeah. Nothing I could do, nothing I could say. You gave your love to me. Nothing I could do. Nothing I could say You gave your love to me And I couldn't earn it And I don't deserve it Still you give yourself away I couldn't earn it I don't deserve it No, no I couldn't earn it I don't deserve it But you give yourself away Is there anybody thankful for a love like that? Come on, is there anybody thankful for a God who reached all the way down wherever it is that you were and pulled you up out of that mess you were in? Is there anybody thankful tonight? Go ahead and put your hands together and lift your voice and glorify the Lord in this house. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Look at somebody next to you and tell them you're glad to see them here this evening. I appreciate all of you being here with us at World Harvest Church. It's a pleasure to be able to worship with you. Amen. As you're seated, open your Bibles, if you would, to the book of Genesis, chapter 26. Genesis, chapter 26. I got three verses of Scripture I want to read to you here, but let me set this up for you just a little bit before I get to the Scripture. Isaac was among the Philistines. He was in the midst of his adversaries, his enemies, but he was there at the direction of God. You know, sometimes God doesn't lead you into places that are without opposition. Just because you encounter a little bit of adversity doesn't mean that you're there just because you made a wrong turn on the highway somewhere. Sometimes God leads you to a place where you experience opposition. Some of you say, well, it seems like I'm at that place right now. Look at what happened here in Genesis 26 with Isaac. He was among the Philistines. It was a season of famine. He was among his adversaries. And there was nothing but misunderstanding and mistrust between him and the Philistines. In other words, nothing was going right. Look at somebody next to you and say, nothing was going right. And that brings us to the scripture I want to read to you. Genesis chapter 26, verses 12 through 14. Look at it. I'm reading from the modern English version of the Bible. Then Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold. The Lord blessed him. I hope to shout the Lord blessed him. You don't get a blessing like that from anybody else. The man, look at this, verse 13. The man became rich and continued to prosper until he became not just wealthy, but very wealthy. 
For he had possessions of flocks and herds and a great number of servants, so that the Philistines envied him. Now, my brother and sister, when you got the blessing of God upon you to such an extent that your enemies and your adversaries envy you, you know that is God's blessing. That is no other kind of blessing. Somebody say amen. But here's the thing. He was there at the direction of God, and he sowed his seed in the middle of a time of famine. And God still gave him a hundredfold blessing. If God can do that for Isaac in the middle of his adversaries, in a season of famine, when there's nothing but misunderstanding and mistrust, what do you suppose, my brother and sister, that, that God can do for you? This is not a season of famine. This is a season of outpouring. You're not among your adversaries. You're among friends and brothers and sisters in the Lord. It's not a time of misunderstanding and mistrust. It is a time of confidence. It is a time of sowing and reaping. Somebody ought to give God some praise in the house. If God can bless Isaac a hundredfold during a season of famine, what do you suppose he can do for you when unemployment is all the way down to three and a half percent? Hallelujah. Best economy I've seen in my lifetime. And I'm like really old. Amen. What do you suppose God can do with that seed that he put in your hand for this season? I believe somebody's life is about to change dramatically as a result of a seed they're sowing tonight. I don't know whether there's anybody that believes that or not, but here's the thing. Isaac got that hundredfold blessing in a time of famine, and even his adversaries had to say, man, that guy is something else. That guy is blessed by God. As a matter of fact, they asked him to move away because he had so much, uh, so many possessions of flocks and herds and everything that God had blessed him with. God is going to pour out his blessing on somebody that's sowing in this offering tonight to the extent that people that call themselves your adversaries are going to have to acknowledge the blessing of God upon your life. I believe that. I believe that's a word for somebody tonight. Somebody here in this house, somebody that's sowing in Elkhart, somebody that's watching online, you sow a seed tonight, God is going to multiply that to such an extent that even people that don't like you will have to admit that God's blessing is upon you. I'm telling you, God's about to do some stuff up here in this house. Amen. The ways to give are on the screen behind me there. I've got uh, an offering envelope. I just like to fill out all the numbers, praise God. Like I said, I'm old, but that's all right. Whatever way you give, you go ahead and give. Here's the thing. Make sure you get a seed in the ground because God is up to something in this house tonight. God's Elkhart, God's up to something there in your midst. Those of you watching online, God's up to something, and he wants to use your seed and multiply it to the point that people that don't even like you are going to say God's blessing is upon them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You say in the middle of January in 2020? Absolutely. Absolutely. Matter of fact, let me just remind you. I don't know whether you've got one of our bookmarks. We're in the we're in the fourth week of uh, our commemorative bookmark here at the beginning of 2020, but I want to go back to the very first week. Here's what it says. No debt. Yeah. Here's, here's what it says. Abundance and overflow will be the evidence of God's favor upon your finances. And nobody believes that. I'm going to say it again. I said, abundance and overflow will be the evidence of God's favor upon your finances. If you believe that, you ought to shout right now. Your work 
will result in unusual rewards. Not just ordinary, not just usual, unusual rewards. You will be able to lend liberally, but you will have no need to borrow. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Here's another one. This is from week three. Doubt regarding God's blessing upon you will be destroyed by the signs of success that surround you in every area of endeavor. You will be unstoppable in your personal and professional life. Somebody ought to say amen right there. Your reputation in the marketplace will be enviable and undeniable. Somebody get a seed in your hand. We're about to sow and we're about to see a miracle in this house. Get your seed in your hand. Let's believe God. Heavenly Father, thank you for the opportunity to give tonight. Oh my God, at the very beginning of a brand new year and a brand new decade, I thank you for blessing our seed. I thank you for multiplying our seed. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that other people that hear about it will have to talk about the blessing of God that's upon us as a result of our determination to sow. We thank you for it, and we bless you for it in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. amen. Give us unto the Lord and enjoy the music ministry of Harvest Music Live.
You know, a great form of worship is an opportunity that we have coming this Sunday morning called First Sunday. The opportunity to bring a soul to be placed as a jewel in the crown of our Savior. So right now in this faith-filled atmosphere, I want us to take a moment to pray for our one. Because as you know, the enemy does not want to just turn them loose. But we believe that prayer changes things. So right now, right where you stand, just lift up that one before the Lord. Father, we lift up our one to you. Say the name out loud. And Father, we ask that blinders would be taken off of their eyes. That excuses and pride and arrogance and doubt and church hurt and unbelief would fall to the ground. We ask that you would soften their hearts even now. And we are declaring that they have a divine appointment in the house of the Lord this Sunday morning. Father, arrest them right now in the spirit, Father, and get them here Sunday morning. Get them ready to receive your word, ready to come to saving faith father we declare a mighty harvest of souls this sunday morning in the name of jesus devil we declare you've got to let them go 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 in the name of jesus they've got destiny they've got purpose they've got a call of god on their life and most importantly they must be saved they will be saved they shall be saved in the mighty name of Jesus now somebody go ahead and rejoice like you believe heaven just heard your request Somebody give him another great big praise just because he's worthy. And you want to set this atmosphere off tonight for miracles, signs, and wonders, and a move of God. Come on, beloved. Don't patty cake him. Somebody give him a great big praise out of the abundance of thanksgiving in your spirit. Something 
something's changing for somebody as you worship right now. As you worship right now, burdens are being lifted. Burdens are being lifted right in the middle of your week. I don't know who you are, but if that's you, somebody just go ahead and rejoice as burdens and heavy loads are lifted in the name of Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah while the blessing comes. Hallelujah while the burden is lifted. Hallelujah while the yoke is destroyed. Hallelujah while answers and strategies come. Hallelujah while you fix my perspective of the situation and you remind me the kind of great big God I serve. If you're able, you can be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hey, if you're a guest of ours here tonight, we are so glad that you're with us, family. Let them know with a hand clap and a smile how glad we are that they're here with us. Hey, if you'll take just a moment as a guest of ours tonight, our VIP, very important person, take a moment and fill that card out in the seat back pocket in front of you on the screen behind me. You can text to that number. And we've got a very special gift from our pastor, Pastor Parsley, that we would love to send to you. Well, this Sunday is... This Sunday is... And first Sunday, we go all out. We do extra, not just for us, but so we can give you a hook to bring your one. Amen? Amen? So this Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, we've got Pastor David Crank in the house. One of the greatest communicators on the planet right now. And we are having a drawing for a drum roll. This big, beautiful, non-Longenberger basket right here. Inside joke, we were in a meeting. Pastor Parsons said, I do not want a Longenberger basket. I want this. So we delivered. Amen. We got your party gear right here ready to go. But you got to get here by 10 o'clock on Sunday morning to get your ticket, all right? You don't want to miss that, and you want to invite all your peeps to get here this Sunday morning, amen? What else am I forgetting, front row? Anything else that I'm forgetting? We got the tailgate giveaway we got here. Get here by 10 a.m. Ah, dream team. Any dream team in the house? I hear you. I see you. At 8.15, right here in the tab with Pastor Parsley. You don't want to miss that. That's going to be an awesome time. And I think I've got everything that we need to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can go to at Rod Parsley on Facebook and share our first Sunday post. You see that behind me? Social media is an awesome tool. It's like blinkers on your car. It's awesome when you use it, okay? Please use your turn signals, would you, huh? So I don't wait on you for nothing. But social media is an awesome tool when you use it, and we want you to share, 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 share to get the word out there about this Sunday. What? What? There we go. There we go. <laughs> what? Yeah, come on. What else we got? Beef jerky. Beef jerky. Woo-hoo. Yeah, yeah, we got potato chips. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty serious right there. Ah! Pretty serious right there. What we got? Oh, we got blankets. We got blankets. We got chips. We got pretzels. Oh, that's pub mix. Hey. We better do without that. <laughs> what is this? More of that. Skittles. We got Skittles. We got chips and salsa. Sprite. We got napkins. Blankets. We, blankets. Whatever this is. M&M's. A sports mat so you can work on your abs during halftime. Looking like J-Lo. 
We got chefs, we got blankets, we got chairs. Is that a pack of Budweiser in there? Better not be. This is a sanctified church. My God. I'm kidding. It's just Sprite. It's just Sprite. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, are you ready for a word on tonight? You sound like you're ready. Come on, stand on your feet and get ready. Do you believe prayer changes things? Are you getting rooted in prayer? Well, come on, let's welcome our pastor, Pastor Parsley, rooted in prayer. Let's go. Would you thank Pastor Chris for these? Would you thank Miss Brittany and Jay and this worship team and Elder Canfield? You were lit tonight. I was just about like to say, okay, I just watch back here, just let him go. You were like Lazarus. I just screaming, loose him and let him go. Look at your neighbor and say, be loosed and let go. All oh, good things are happening. Good things always happen when 400 people show up in here and pray the prayer of agreement on Monday night. Look at that. Look at that. Pray in the prayer of faith. Pray in the prayer of agreement. Pray in the prayer of thanksgiving and praise. Don't miss Monday night. Whatever you do, don't miss Monday night. What a time we're having. And as a result, I just thought I'd share with you in the last 13, well, really 12 months, we have seen 12,200 and 77 people give come on now i heard pastor chris praying heard y'all praying for your one we're gonna drive that number up sunday we're gonna drive it up you already prayed he already heard you he's making a way he's preparing the atmosphere so just get ready but now we're glad to have we're, we're glad to have Miss Amanda back with Pastor Fias tonight. She's been out for about three weeks under attack physically, but look at God. Here she is back on the front row. Now 30 churches strong in Pakistan. And give me my Pakistan number. Give me my Pakistan number. 48,000. 406, oh, come on, y'all, y'all. Now give me a total, last 13 months, 60,000. No, you all got to shout a while. I want you to clap. I want you to shout. I want you to wave. I want you to dance. I want 60,740 people who will never know what hell looks like. My great God. Woo! Somebody leap, somebody shout. My great God. Woo! All right. Be seated. Grab your notepad. Get your phone out. Whatever you need to do. They've only left me 15 minutes, but I'm going to go for it. Are you ready? Throw your hands up and say, tonight, I live in the decade of dominion. I am in authority. I, I'm telling you, this afternoon, I met with a, a beautiful lady that uh, became a part of our staff just about three weeks ago, and uh, her teenage daughter has been under terrible, terrible, terrible physical attack, and uh, just, just they're only sleeping about two hours a night, and it's gone on for weeks. And uh, her office, she's a beautiful Baptist lady, and I said, I'm a Baptist too. 
So, so she said, yeah, but pastor, she said, pastor, I have to tell you something. She said, now, Miss Angie Dilgard, her office is right across from my office. And she came in today and she said, can I pray for you? And she said, pastor, she went praying for me and I've never in my life, I've been in the church since I was born in big, big churches. And she said, I have never ever in my life felt the power of God and the authority that we have in Jesus Christ like when Miss Angie prayed for me. I said, honey, you a Baptist about to find out there's a whole lot more than you've been told. And I'm telling you, I was so proud of that. The prayer of authority, the prayer of binding, the prayer of loosing. Woo! Whatsoever you bind on earth, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. I'm on earth. If you're on earth, you got power to bind. Bind every principality. Y'all in the wrong key or something. Bind every principality. Bind every power. Bind every authority. Bind every... Why are you just sitting there looking at me? Don't just sit there and look at me, y'all. I didn't say clap. I said bind. Open your mouth. What is our dominion scripture? Open your mouth wide and I will fulfill it. You'll see the words that you speak, so shall it be. Now everybody shout it. Open your mouth with a mighty decree and I will fulfill it now. You see the words that you speak, so shall it be. One more time all by yourself, go. My God, I feel authority. I feel authority. Binding every principality, binding every power, binding every supernatural force, binding every demon spirit, binding every wayward spirit, bringing every thought, bringing every thought, bringing every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. I bind my thought life. I bind my mind from thinking thoughts that are contrary to what God has declared and decreed over me. I will declare the decree of the Lord, for he has said unto me, I am his son. Woo! Open your mouth wide with a mighty decree. I will fulfill it now. You see, I dare you to get happy that though you may not see it, you will see it. I will see my body healed. I will see my children saved. I will see my thought life cleaned up. I will see the preparation of the Lord. I will see the mighty hand of God. I will see revival. I will see the glory. I will see the hand of God. The words that you speak, so shall it. That's your authority. Say, I have authority. Man, I was in the church all my life till this dawned on me that I have authority. Look at somebody and say, I have authority. I don't know what's wrong with you, but I've got authority. And if we pray the prayer of agreement, if any two of us on earth agree touching anything that we shall ask, it shall be done for us by our Father which is in heaven. 
One chases a thousand, two puts ten thousand to play, three chase a hundred thousand, four chase a million. I've got authority over the lump in your breast. I've got authority over that bowel obstruction. I've got authority about that abnormal sinus drainage. I've got authority over that fever. Well, do you or don't you? Lay your hands on your own body. Declare to yourself, I have authority over you. Woo. I bind every infection. I bind every irritation. I bind all inflammation. There's an inflammation around somebody's heart. I bind you now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to loose your hold on the authority of God's word. We are the healed of the Lord. Say it. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. The words that you speak so shall it be lift up those hands and shout money cometh every need met every bill paid dead we bind you in the mighty name of jesus we bind passion that would stop us from being dead free we bind desires that would bind us from being debt free. Money come up to me now. Money come up to me now. Something will happen when you just start doing it yourself. That's it. That's it. That's it. Thank you for a hundred thousand souls. A hundred thousand souls coming now. Strength comes now. Wisdom comes now. Power comes now. Let the weak shout they're strong. Let the poor say they're rich. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. I'm redeemed from every curse. Every blessing falls on me. I am blessed. I am blessed. I I'm not rebellious. I'm under authority. Therefore I have authority. My great God. Don't let me interrupt you. Power over sin. Power, authority. Woo. Life comes to me now. Wisdom comes to me now. Favor 
divine favor comes to me now, 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 now. I'm surrounded with favor like a shield. The evil one touches me not. I have a passing through anointing. Somebody just need to talk to the devil. Watch me now. This praise is cause I'm passing through. You can't bind me. You can't hinder me. You can't stop me. You can't block me. You can't bind me. I'm increasing. I'm increasing right now. I'm lengthening my cords. I'm strengthening my stakes. I'm increasing the borders of my habitation. God puts his hand on me for good. weak, wise, and I am not foolish, rich, and I am not poor. Thank you, Jesus. My house is full of wealth and riches. Father, I pray for Mike Murdoch right now. I just speak life into his body, life into his mind, freedom into his emotions. I declare and decree the mighty power of God over him. Satan, take your hands off God's property. Oh, come on. Everybody that's believing for a real estate breakthrough in 2020, Run down here right now and get to praising him. No, I mean praise him. No halfway, no almost. I'll own my own house. I get out of paying rent and wasting God's money. I'm not buying anything on credit. God is my creditor. God is my banker. God is my provider. Real estate miracles come now. Come now. Come now. You want a real breakthrough on it? Covenant with him that when he gives you the miracle, you'll double tithe on it. Tell it, I dare you right now. Tell it, the next financial miracle you give me, I'm gonna double tithe on it. Jesus, come on, Jesus. We don't need a discount. We're not beggars. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Never seen his seed begging for bread. Healing is a children's bread. Take it, grab it, possess it, lay hold on it. It's in the spirit right now. Your miracle is in the spirit right now. 
Let your faith reach out and grab it. See it. Conceive it. Believe it. Declare it. Decree it. Receive it. If you don't stop blessing him like this, your miracle is going to show up. Look how little your problem looks right now. Look how defeated your devil, his adversaries look right now. His presence is here. His power is here. His glory is here. Ask, you shall receive. Seek, you shall find. Knock, it shall be opened unto you. Whatever you ask the Father, in His name, He will give it to you. Call unto Him. He will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you know not. Bind and loose. Bind and loose. Now turn around and tell somebody, I'm gonna take the next 60 seconds and I'm gonna agree with everything you just said. Tell them. I'm going to take the next 60 seconds and I'm going to agree with you about every prayer, every petition, every request, every desire, spoken and unspoken. I agree with you. I really don't think you have any idea the authority you're operating in right now. With God, all things are possible to him that believes. How do I believe? Act like it. Faith talks, faith talks, faith talks. Faith calls those things that be not as though they are. Faith calls those things that be not as though they are. If God hadn't wanted to answer you, he shouldn't have. He already did. The moment you ask, your answer left heaven now bind up the devil that's trying to bind up your answer in the spirit loose it loose my miracle loose my healing you thief loose it now or give it back seven times greater I bind you. You're not in authority. I'm in authority. My words are my authority. He has made me a king and a priest. I declare, I decree the words that I say, so shall it be. Don't let me stop you. Don't just pray in tongues. The devil can't understand tongues. Pray in your native language. Make him understand you. He is defeated. But he needs to know you know that.
Tell the heavens to get open. Tell the heavens to get open. If you're a tither, you have a right to an open heaven, not a closed heaven. A closed door means an open heaven. Ah. Tell somebody a closed door means an open heaven. It means something greater, something greater, something greater. If you need something to declare and decree, if you are out of stuff now,
my spirit. Blessed in my spirit. I am blessed in my mind. Blessed in my mind. I am blessed in my body. Blessed in my body. I feel it again. Money. Him that it's coming. It's on the way. 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 You better praise him. It's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. Your healing is on the way. Your deliverance is on the way. Jump and wave, jump and shout, jump and wave, jump and shout, it's on the way, jump and shout, keep it's saying it, you believe it, you better praise it, keep saying Just it, you believe it, it's on the way, keep saying it's on the way, you believe it, don't wait till the battle is over, shout now, don't wait till the battle is over, shout now. Don't wait till the battle is over. Shout now. It's on the way. It's on the way. Yeah. 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 I am delivered. I am delivered. I am delivered. I am delivered. Every fear, every bondage, every bondage, every sin, every sin, every sickness, every, sickness, every, devil, every devil, every curse, every curse. I am delivered. delivered. I have been delivered from any force, any entity, any spirit, any person that would attempt to bind me, hinder me, hold me back from fulfilling my God-ordained purpose. I am never again, again going to be subject going to be subject to my enemy's schemes to my enemy's schemes that devil is a liar that devil is a liar second corinthians 1:10 he delivered us yeah yeah and does deliver us and will still deliver, deliver us. us. I like to say it this way. He has delivered me from the hand of the lion and the hand of the bear and the hand of every uncircumcised Philistine past, present, and future. I I gotta tell you, 
when you were talking about real estate miracles, something came up on the inside of me. And we've been shouting about something that we know about. But let me tell you something. In 2020, God is going to do something for you that you don't know about you right now. You better listen. You better listen. Yeah, 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 you yeah, yeah. don't know about. Yeah, and yeah. if you won't get angry when what looks like a setback comes along, if you won't get upset uh -huh. when it seems like somebody else is messing up your plan, if you refuse to become discouraged when circumstances Preach, rise okay. against you, that's good. You're going to see something that you never imagined that God has in mind for you that you don't know anything about. By the end of 2020, somebody needs to go ahead and praise him right now. Come on. You've been praising him for that thing you know about. Go ahead and praise him for that thing you don't know about right now. I just heard him, Elder. I just heard him. Hidden riches in secret places. places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come yeah, to yeah, me yeah. now! No! In 19, must have been 19, uh, when was I married, 86? Is that when I was married? 86. Okay. 86. It is two years before I was married. That's how I remember. Eight nights will be 1984. Okay, yeah. Three men got together and they got a gold presidential Rolex watch and put it on me. I still have it. Most of my watches I give away. I think I've given away a little bit over 30. Today, You've given me three or four of them, including have, that one right there. Oh, well, you should have five more. Now then, so Elder Chad came in before service tonight and he told me, he said, a man bought a Rolex watch in the 90s, wasn't it? 70s, in the 70s for $300, $359. He's not gonna let me lie, $359. He just kept it in a box so he took it to that antique road show. Oh, oh. All right. They said, you might want to sit down. They said, this watch today, I can sell it today for $400,000. Oh! No, wait. Oh! Then their boss said, no, you way, you way off. I can sell it today for seven hundred thousand dollars. You don't know what's laying around in your attic. Start claiming it. Yes. Right, Start right, declaring right. it. Yes. Start right. decreeing it. Yes. Hidden riches in secret, secret places. places. Yes, sir. Do it yes. now. Hidden, Hidden riches in secret places. Come to me. I just feel like there are some of your prayers held up in the supernatural sphere uh -huh. and I think if we'd really get mad and tell the devil we know he's got it held up God did not answer me my prayer was answered the moment I pray, I think if you shake it loose right now with a mighty praise, God said, God 
said, remind me. This is how important prayer is. This is why the greatest sin to a believer in the Bible is the sin of prayerlessness. Well, well. The sin of prayerlessness because it is the sin of presumption. Presumption. That God's going to do something that you didn't talk to him about. Well. God said, yes, my blessing is upon Israel. But it will not be manifested until Israel inquires right. of me right. regarding the promise That's I have right. made them. That's yeah. right. God said, I will yet be inquired of regarding this. That's why he said, ask. Ask. And keep on asking. Yeah. Knock. Knock. Keep on knocking. <laughs> Seek. Seek. Keep on seeking. Yeah. Keep on seeking. Because in that firmament up there, yeah. Yeah. that second heaven, that's where the rulers of the darkness of this world, principalities and powers and supernatural places, that's where they stick their hands out yeah. and grab a hold of what left heaven on its way to you. Now I'm gonna freak you out, but I can I can I can prove it to you in Bible, in black and white. You never prayed the prayer. That's right. God didn't hear That's right. and answer and the moment you prayed yeah. it yeah. in faith. Yeah. You, that yeah. never happened. That never happened. Or God's a liar. He said, ask and you'd receive. Now, if people like to quote, well, but maybe you ask with wrong, evil, or selfish motive. Well, that's only if you want to consume it on your own lust. Yeah. That's like you praying for your ministry to be successful and you care less about souls. You just want your name somewhere. See, that's that. But dear God, if you've been saved more than three days and you haven't got rid of such pride as that, you need the altar again. God gives you the desires of your heart. God yes. burst the desire in your heart to ask him. Yes, yes. My great God in heaven. Yeah. So that thing gets hung up as it did for Daniel for 21 days. Daniel prayed. Yep. But the answer from God was sent that same day. Uh -huh. yep. But the prince of Persia stood in the way right. until somebody bound him up. Yeah. And shook it loose. Shook it loose. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Remnant used to do that song, Shake Yourself Loose. Didn't he? Come up here and show me. Mandy. I don't make Mandy come up here and show me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shake yourself loose. Is that right? Hallelujah. Now if y'all don't stop praying. You're going to see miracles, yeah. the likes of which yes, you have amen. never imagined. I'm telling yes, you. Amen. I'm telling you, if you don't stop praising him, everybody in your family is going to get saved. If you don't stop praising him, every bill you've got is going to be paid. If you don't stop praising him like that, every one of your houses is going to be filled and overflowing. Shout, I believe. This thing's not that complicated. I first got into this thing. I adopted a phrase. I used it for, I guess, 25 years. You work the word, the word will work. Right, right, right. But it won't work if you don't work it. Now, it's good to meditate in the Word. While you're doing that, you get revelation. Yeah, yeah. I am. You see. But it doesn't do any good to see if you don't speak. <laughs> God created nothing without His words, and neither will you. So I don't know how many of you have this little 
decade of dominion, 20 decrees and 20 declarations. But if you don't have it, I watched pastor down here. I watched pastor down here the whole time we were praying, man, he was going through that thing. And I said, well, I'll just get me one and join him. Amen. Amen. Use it. Use it. My great God. I don't put stuff like this together for you. That's right. You know, for you not to use it. That's right. And this, this thing is, I am filled. I am anointed. I am confident. Yes. I am abounding. I am fruitful. I am, fruitful. I am, fruitful. I am, alive. I am alive. I am accepted. I am forgiven. I am forgiven. I am peaceful. I am peaceful. I am redeemed. I am redeemed. Yes, God. Yeah. And then there's this one. Decade of Dominion. Yes. Devotional. Yes. But tonight I put two more together for you. All right. Where are they, son? Thank you. This one, I, I don't know. I might have mentioned this two times. I, I don't know if I ever did. Don't know if I ever mentioned it in the church. The hope that we have in Christ, blessed assurance. assurance. Too many people don't have assurance. Yeah, yeah. They're faking it. They don't have deep-rooted security. No, we don't believe in eternal security. That's a lie. But we also don't believe in unconditional insecurity, where you're just insecure all the time. We have assurance yes. in yes. Christ. Yes. And this book will help you know that. And then Pastor Chris Deegan and I got together. I did it several years ago, I guess 15 years ago, with Pastor Clint Brown. Um, I forget what that one was called. Speak the word. I said, I told Pastor Chris, I said, let's you and I do that. And we did a brand new one called Speak the Word. Well, that's appropriate, isn't it? <laughs> Speak the Word, be made whole. Yeah. And uh, there's music and there's me declaring and decreeing things for you to declare and decree. And uh, it's, it's a claiming your victory, walking in authority ministry for your spirit, ministry for your soul, healing for your body, opening prayers. It's, it's a great, great blessing. So you can have those, both of those tonight for $10. I don't know, where are they? They're in all three, four years. All right. So take those home with you tonight for sure. Yeah. All right. I'm not, I'm not going to start into this. I, I, I can't. I can't. It's, it's too good. And at times, Brother Hagin taught me in my early 20s, Dr. Kenneth E. Hagin, founder of Rhema Bible Training Center. He taught me, Elder, he said, the problem with young preachers is they try to have every kind of service in one service. I think God's done his work in here tonight. And, and, and it, it's why it's important that you don't miss yes. because tonight really is just a continuation of monday night we just didn't get finished and, and the power that same power of god yes. Yes. was here tonight and just took us another step amen so teaching concept and precept and then practice yeah. Yeah. see what we're doing tonight we're practicing yes. Yes. Uh -huh. so when you get out there whoo yeah. Glory to God. Do you feel the power of God? Yes. Do you sense the presence yes. of God? Past, past, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I just speak that every declaration, every decree, yes. every prayer, yes. every supplication, yes. every desire, yes. every entreaty, yes. spoken and unspoken, that you would read our hearts and our minds like a book and that every thought would be pleasing to you, knowing that thoughts to you are words. So hear our yes. thoughts, O oh God. Govern yes. our thoughts. Yes. Even tonight yes. as we sleep, yes, Lord. we give our minds to you. Yes. Let the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O yes. oh God. 
every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Yes. And may the peace of God yes. rule and reign in our hearts and minds yeah, by Christ Jesus. Yes, we believe everything we've declared and decreed tonight yes. is done yes. and everybody in agreement God gave God the greatest shout of the night Eight fifteen, Sunday morning great great dream team rally we're gonna yes, we're gonna have hot food and all that stuff and it's first Sunday that's, that's all I can tell you. And we've been out getting Pastor David Crank's props. He likes props. So he's going to bring us a great illustrated message. But that's this first Sunday's not for you. It's for everybody you love. That's good. And uh, we're going out with door hangers. And we're, we're, going, we're going for it. All right? So tell everybody you know, we love you. God bless you. We'll see you Sunday morning at 8.15, because you all need to be dream teamers. Yes, yes, Amen. yes.